Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna go over some tips and tricks for your S22 series. One of the first ones is actually gonna be your navigation bar down here. If you wanna change this, if you wanna go back to a traditional uh, single line at the bottom, what you do is you go to settings, then you go over to display, you scroll down just a bit into navigation bar. Simply click on that, and it's gonna take you to this page here. Now you want to select this one, swipe gestures. Okay, and it's going to change that right away. So to go home, you simply swipe up. To go back, you swipe on the side, on either side. To me, it's much simpler than the, your traditional three dots. Okay guys, next on the list is going to be a side key or a side button here. Uh, you want to set a default for that, either turn off or camera or big speed, whatever you prefer, okay? So you simply just gonna go to uh, settings, and then from settings you're gonna go to the search tab, and there you're gonna you're gonna write side key. There it is. Just click on that. Side side key again, and then here simply select your preference. Uh, double press for quick camera launch, or open a designated app of your choice. Press and hold, power off, which is the way I have it set. So let's just go ahead and uh, and try that out. Press and hold, power off, restart, emergency. Okay, and double click. There's the camera. Okay, so go ahead and play with that and um, adjust it to your preference. Next on the list, it's uh, display uh, dark mode. So what you want to do is you want to head back to uh, settings, click on display, and it's right at the top. Okay, light, dark. So essentially, you're looking at dark. Let's change it back to light, and everything in your, in your uh, settings completely changes, and also your text message will change according to. To that and your calls as well okay so let's change that back to dark display dark mode beautiful and that also helps you uh, save battery next on the list is uh, refresh Hertz basically you can go up to 120 to 48 in this particular S22 model, okay? Not to confuse it with the S22 Ultra, which can do up to one hertz, up to 120. So if you wanted to change that to save battery, or if you wanna have uh, smoother scrolling, what you do is you go back to settings, display again, and then you're gonna click, click on uh, motion smoothness, all right? Adapted means that it goes from 48 hertz when you're reading or you're not scrolling, up to 120 once you do start moving the screen okay now if you do put it at 60 it's not going to be as uh responsive you, you can see some jittery uh, but it does help with the battery okay now if you're going to pay a thousand dollars or you really want to go to 60 hertz nah, i don't think so man so you know what let's go back to uh 120 because that's what you pay right you pay to play so it's 120 hertz okay Next, edge pounds. Simply or little apps that are on your side of your screen when you scroll. Okay, so if you don't wanna have a whole bunch of apps in your screen, you just simply set this method and they just kinda of stay there until you're ready to use them. Your calculator, uh, measuring apps, anything you want can be there, okay? It's talk away, it's hidden away from the main screen. So in order to set that up or uh, Take it off completely. What you do is you go back to settings, display, and then you scroll down until you see edge panels right here. Okay, so just simply click on that. <clears throat> and, and then you can turn it off. Or you can choose which apps you wanna have in there. Contacts as well, calendars, you name it. Weather widgets. Okay guys, so it's up to you to be creative and choose your own uh, methods 
for myself, I like to have a clear screen. I don't really like to have the, the uh, panels on the side. Okay, next on the list, motion gestures. Okay, so this is kind of important. You wanna to go to settings, then you go ahead down to advanced features. Then you go to motions and gestures. Click on that. Now here's a few different options that you get to choose with. Lift to weight is very important, uh, especially you don't, you don't wanna be putting your fingerprint every second when you pick up your phone. So the phone automatically turns on and gives you notifications. Double tap to uh, turn on the screen and off. Let me show you what that looks like. Super helpful. You don't gotta be doing this 24 seven. Okay. So if you don't wanna get in your phone, you just wanna look at your uh, screen and notifications, double tap. Someone's coming behind you, whoop, quick, you're out. Okay, oh, by the way, uh, to use the fingerprint scanner, you don't need to have your screen on like some uh, other phones out there. So very simple. So yeah. There's a few other options there. Um, keep screen on while viewing. I don't particularly use that one. Uh, it's up to you if you wanna use it. Uh, alert when phone's picked up. Obviously you wanna have that on. If you wanna get notifications, uh, pawn swipe uh, to capture, screenshots and uh, pretty much uh, saves you from having to use both hands to take a screenshot. Okay, next. Always on display. You go to settings, lock screen. And then you wanna click on always on display. You wanna turn that on. And then you wanna click on it. And then you can see many different kind of clocks. You can pick and choose whichever way you wanna go. You can change the color down here. So let's say that I want it to go with this. Okay, so you say done. Scroll home, turn off the screen. There you have it. Okay. Next, now this was really important, okay? Because you wanna maximize your uh, 45 watt charging ca capacity in this particular phone, okay? With the S22 Ultra and the S22 Plus. So what you wanna do is you wanna go to settings and then you go down to um, battery and device care. Okay, and in here you're gonna click on battery. You wanna scroll down a little bit, more battery settings. And then here you wanna have it on um, super fast charging. Okay, that's gonna, that's gonna give you the capability of charging on 45 watts. Cause if you just have uh, fast charging, I believe it goes up to only 15. Okay, so we wanna have this on. Also, if you want to protect your battery, you can set up your, your battery to charge up to 85%, okay? So once it goes uh, up to 85%, it's not gonna charge anymore, okay? That is gonna preserve your battery, <clears throat> but it's not gonna give you that full uh, capacity, all right? Another helpful tip that'll help you uh, <clears throat> get the most out of your battery. Okay, next. Uh, Samsung Dex. Okay, you want to go back to settings, advanced features, and then you click on it, you turn it on. All right, and it can even, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> it's going to try to connect to a monitor in your computer or a TV, and basically you, you can use your phone as a computer. It's really helpful if you got a lot of um, schoolwork or business, presentations, anything like that. Very helpful, okay? All right, guys, that is gonna be it for today. And uh, thank you for watching. I hope you subscribe, all right? Have a great day.